Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby, if you didn't know, now you know, and I cannot believe I'm saying this, but this is the pack and prep for worlds video. I swear like I was just doing my first LJ video and I blinked and all of a sudden now we're here. I, especially the last like four months from January on went by so fast because we had so many competitions that like there was no time to just kind of like be in the moment and breathe. It was like always like, okay, what's next? What's next? What's next? And now like we're at the end, which is so sad, but also an exciting time. I'm very excited for this weekend. It is my first Worlds in a decade not being a cheerleader. My very first Worlds that I ever attended as an athlete was 2013 and now 2023 is my first Worlds as a coach. So crazy what the last 10 years brought. I feel so fulfilled going in as a coach. Like I had so many people last night ask me like if I missed it because I stayed to watch Double O's world send off and I was like I genuinely like don't because I feel like I left at the best time like I am so fulfilled with my cheer career like if you would have told little like 12 year old Gabby who fell in love with cheerleading I cheered like my whole life but between the ages of like 11 and 12 I really like loved cheerleading if you would have told her why am I literally gonna get emotional if you would have told her that not only did she move down to Top Gun to I'm literally gonna cry. Ew. <laughs> Moving down to Top Gun to like be on TGLC, be on Double O. That's insane. She would have never believed you. And then to tell her that she was a four time world champion and like the impact that the cheer industry made on me and that I made on the cheer industry. It's just, it's so fulfilling to like have those memories and those moments that like I really feel like I don't need to achieve more as an athlete like I feel like my time to like close that chapter happened last year and I'm on to the next and I'm very excited to go into this weekend as a coach I did not expect to start this video already almost crying because I have a feeling that it's going to end with a lot of crying because tonight is LJ's last home practice and it is so many like OG LJ girls last practice after so many years so I just know tonight's going to get emotional and I'm such a like copycat crier like if I see someone crying over like like deep emotion I feel like I immediately get teary-eyed because I just like it makes me feel something so we'll probably be a little emotional tonight we'll see how it goes I'm very excited for their last practice in the gym I feel like it's going to be the best one yet but anyway first step on today's to-do list Guys, I have had these nails on for six weeks. I got them done March 2nd before the cruise. March 2nd. You know what day it is? April 20th. March 2nd to April 20th. That has to be almost like some type of world record. The fact that every single nail is still intact over like six and a half weeks later, that is so impressive. But anyway, they need to go. So I think... I wanted to do something fun and for some reason I had the hardest time finding what I wanted to do with nails So I think we're just gonna do a light pink chrome These are gonna be my nails for worlds, but then also my birthdays next week So they're gonna be for that too and the dress I have for my birthday is like White with pearls, so I also might add pearls onto one nail, but like I can't Visualize what it'll look like and I can't find a picture of that So I don't know if I want to do that like pearls on pink chrome that might just be too much so maybe we'll just do the light pink curl. But like I've also done that before. So that's kind of boring. But like I searched everything. I was gonna do. I know my nail salon at least like a few years ago. Because I got them done. I know they had like Louis Vuitton stickers that you could put on your nails. So I was gonna do pink with the Louis Vuitton stickers. But then it's also like as soon as Worlds is over. That just kind of looks chuggy. Because obviously it has to do with like LJ's theme and everything. But then after that it's like why do you have Louis Vuitton stickers on your nails you know. So I think we're just gonna do the pink curl. We'll see how it goes. I just cannot wait. These are like not functioning anymore. Like they are so long that like I feel like I can't use my hands. So I cannot wait to get new nails. But long intro. Welcome to the video. I cannot believe we leave for Worlds tomorrow. Listen, I am all about girl empowerment, girl supporting girls. But those men at that nail salon know how to put in work. I love the color of the chrome. I only went with one pearl, mainly because he misunderstood me. But also, I once I realized that they weren't like the half pearls where they were flat and they're like a full pearl, so it's like really sticking out. I was like, I don't want a ton on the nails just because if they fall off, I feel like it'll look crazy underneath. So we went with just the one pearl on the bottom, which I honestly ended up really liking anyway. But I think I'm becoming 
a light pink nail girl because the color of the pink before they put the chrome on was absolutely beautiful and i think i might have to do that either next time or like eventually because i really liked the color of just like the natural pink it looked so cute but the nails are world ready i think lj as a team is all doing like a light pink so i'll match them but i like it and i think this will look really good for my birthday still so i think they're like the perfect nails and he finessed he did great and we made it home justin is on his way home from his haircut right now so pick up lunch for both of us I got a, it was a tough decision between nuggets or a sandwich, but for some reason I really wanted a sandwich. So, number one, no pickles with a large sweet tea, lots of Chick-fil-A sauce, if you're wondering what my order is. But it's only 12.53 right now. What time do I have to be at the gym? Not until like 6.45. We got lots of time to get everything done, but I need to like actually sit and think about what all needs done because there's been so much going on that I have not planned out any of it yet. So, I'm gonna sit and eat try to figure all that out then we'll go to the next thing on the list it is finally time to get everything packed i feel like this is going to be the hardest world that i've ever had to pack for because as an athlete everything is like laid out for you you know what outfits you're wearing a certain day you know you obviously have to wear the uniform i know what like as coaches we're wearing for lj but the thing is is lj goes decently early in the morning and like tglc when they compete goes so late at night that I feel like I almost need two outfits for each day, which is a lot of outfits. So we need to figure out everything we're packing. I'm gonna start with what I know for sure. But another thing that I really wanna pack, I wanna change out my phone case. I love this phone case, but I feel like it does not match the weekend. And somehow I like don't have a pink phone case. I don't know how that's happened, but I did dig through some of my old ones and I found this, which I feel like is pretty fitting. It's pink, it's like the Jaguar print, kind of. So we're gonna swap it onto this. And this video is sponsored by Caseify, so we are going to take a little break while I collect my thoughts and figure out what I need to pack to talk about Caseify. And Gabby from the future popping in to talk about Caseify because I just got a new delivery from them in, which came at the perfect time because this came right before Worlds. And look at how perfect this phone case is because it still has the pink, it said better days are coming, and this is the one I ended up using for the weekend. I got so many compliments on it. But I wanna show off some of the other ones I got too because Caseify not only is extremely protective for your phone, the Impact series of phone cases protects drops up to 11.5 feet, and EcoShock is now embedded in the iPhone 14 Impact cases with over a 20% increased protection. And when I tell you lately, my phone has been jumping out of my hands. Like, I'm normally pretty careful with it, and I just have been so clumsy with my phone, but I have absolutely nothing to ever worry about because I know my phone is so protected when I have a case by case on it. The protection is actually five times the military standard. And I love case five because normally when you think of a protective phone case, you think of something that's like huge and bulky, but like they still manage to make the cutest, super slim phone cases. And like when I tell you they have something out there for everyone. So these are like some print cases. They have the mirror ones, which I love this because if you're ever out and about and you need a mirror to do like makeup checkups or to see what you look like, the mirror cases are so cute. I also love this whole like order is almost all very positive reminders because let's be honest, our phone rarely ever leaves our hand. So if there's anywhere where you just need a reminder of putting yourself first, self-love, mental health, whatever the case is, they got all the cases for it. So literally like I have almost all of these have like a nice positive saying on it. And then obviously you guys saw this one that I was planning on using for worlds. But then when I ended up seeing this one, I was like, I definitely need to put this one on. They are also made from 65% recycled materials and they work with exclusive artists so they actually support the artist community. One of my favorite that they have is the Mirrors Reflect You. I have so many cases from this section on the Caseify website but there's literally like over 2,000 prints that you can choose from. And of course, Caseify is hooking you guys up with a discount code so you can go to caseify.com slash Gabby Fuller to get 15% off your order today and they don't only have phone cases, especially not just iPhone cases. They have multiple phones. They have like AirPod cases, Apple Watch bands. The list goes on. They are the tech accessory place to go. So make sure to check them out. I'm gonna have everything linked down below and let's get on with the video. So cute. That'll match all my outfits so much better. So, okay. First things first. Well, maybe I should do it in order. So I know Friday night we have practice at TG Orlando and I know we're wearing this shirt for Friday. So, 
Got to get that out. It's just like the Top Gun World shirt with all of our teams. Saturday, we are wearing this, which is the LJ World shirt that you guys had the opportunity to buy. So I'm sure I'll be matching a lot of you in the like ESPN Center on Saturday wearing this. And then Sunday, we are wearing, which I'm a little concerned because I don't exactly know where the shirt is. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Sunday, we're wearing this shirt, the full like LV LJ print shirt. And I think we're wearing black shorts every day, which kind of stresses me out because I don't just want to wear running shorts, but I only have one pair of black jean shorts. So I don't know what day I'm going to wear these on, but I do think, obviously I know some inside scoop. I do think we're getting a pair of LJ running shorts as a team gift. So at least that's cuter than just normal running shorts. I just don't know what shirt that'll go with because sometimes like the pinks that we put on gifts are like slightly different. And the pink on the fundraising shirt is like slightly, slightly different than the pink on the other shirt. So I'll probably figure out what shirt that matches better and then wear the jean shorts with the other one. But then Monday, LJ competes Saturday, Sunday, and then Double O and TGLC compete Sunday, Monday. So Monday, I'm just technically a spectator. I need to pick out a whole outfit for that that I have not even thought about yet. So I guess I'm going to figure out my main outfits first. And then I also know that I'm going to be doing like a few dinners. So a couple nice outfits. Not like super nice, but at least just like not cheer clothes kind of outfits. And I don't know what else. I put in the LJ group for like everyone to send a baby picture of themselves to kind of like remember why you started cheerleading, why you've sacrificed so much of your life for this sport. And like this weekend is all about her. And I literally am like in tears. They are the cutest little pictures ever. And it's so sweet. So sweet. So I'm so happy I did that because I'm having the best time just going through and seeing everyone like when they first started cheering and just knowing how special it is for so many of them. Okay, I feel like this is everything I can think of right now. So this is Friday's outfit. TG Orlando has air conditioning, so this is already a tank top, so I'm going to wear leggings with that. Saturday's outfit, right now I just have it with Lulu running shorts. Obviously, we'll see what kind of team gifts we get tonight to see if I switch those out. Sunday, I have this shirt and the jean shorts for right now. And then I have multiple options for Monday. I have these LJ shorts with just like this top. I have two LJ tank tops. This is a pair of leggings. Or I have this LJ crop shirt with like a pair of biker shorts. So like the options are kind of endless. And then I'm obviously going to pack everything we get tonight too. Which I think we're getting another kind of like a top like this but in pink. So I think that would be cute with leggings too. Possibly for Monday. Then I brought two somewhat nice outfits i didn't want to go too crazy because i know we're not doing anything like literally just going out to dinner but to be honest i'll probably end up wearing one of these outfits too anyway but i have this black shirt that like ties in the back with the pink jeans that i could either wear with the pink jeans or with this outfit which is like my black almost like fake leather jeans with a gray top so all of that and then i don't think i'll need those at all but i know i'll regret not bringing them and ending up wanting them so we're just gonna bring a hoodie and a long sleeve just in case i really feel like this is all the clothes that i'm gonna need to be honest i probably should have packed my bigger suitcase i may have to switch everything over tonight seeing how many team gifts and everything else i have to get but all of my like comp lj shirts are in here all my extra outfits pajamas i have my makeup socks underwear hoodies straightener curling iron nice outfits i am good to go as long as i don't need to bring another pair of sneakers but I also think I want to somehow buy another pair of shoes before tomorrow. Now, the odds of that happening are not likely. But tell me these wouldn't be so cute all weekend. I feel like I need pink shoes. I've been wearing my normal black and white dunks all competition season. And I, like, don't love it. But they're my only shoe that I feel like looks good with jeans or shorts or, like, outfits of just, like, casual outfits. But I feel like I need a pink shoe. So I... Ask Justin. I know he has a lot of connections or like no places to go. Worst comes to worst, maybe we'll go to the mall in Orlando. But I either like those ones or the high top ones, which those ones on go are actually surprisingly really cheap. But I obviously can't order them because they won't be here in time. The high top ones are a little bit more expensive, but they're a little bit of a brighter pink. But I am fine with either option. I don't know if I'll be able to make that happen. We're going to see.
If not, it's fine. I'll probably just wear my dunks all weekend. I don't know if I should bring another shoe. If I am bringing another shoe, definitely need to pack a bigger suitcase. But other than that, I think that's everything that I need to pack in my suitcase, at least for right now. I'm not going to like fully zip it up because I know that I'm going to need to put new team gifts in it after I get home from practice tonight. But I'm going to at least get it off the bed. Yeah, like she's thick. She's barely closing already. Probably should have got a bigger suitcase. But next up on the list is I need to clean my world's rings. I really want to figure out a way that I can wear them this weekend because I think around my neck is just, it's too much. It's a lot. But here's the thing. <laughs> I have too many. <laughs> Not actually, but like I feel like to just wear it on one hand because I got them all almost the same size. So like they're all for these two technically like three fingers that one's really big actually that one could probably fit here but then this is where I get stuck like I can put three on one hand but this one does not fit my pinky but it also doesn't fit my thumb so then if I go both hands maybe I don't like that hold on we need to play around they're all like the same size technically but all fit very very different maybe here and here or here no definitely here I guess like I could do this I feel like it doesn't give what it should be giving and then when I split them up I also can't wear these so I feel torn I feel like there's no possible way that I can wear these on my fingers anymore which is really sad it's a great problem to have listen I am not complaining but I just don't know how to wear them Regardless, what needs to happen is I need to clean them because they tarnish so fast and I want some fresh world's rings going into the weekend. This is the cleaner I got. It's from Amazon. It's on my Amazon storefront. I have it under, I think it's like the jewelry category, but it is phenomenal on world's rings, especially. Oh, there is a huge bubble. Um, I don't, I don't know what is in it, but literally all you do is it comes with this little like turntable thing i'm just gonna put them all at once honestly you literally need to drop it in for like not even 10 seconds and you just go like this and twirl it and the solution that's in there it kind of smells not gonna lie but i feel like that's how you know it's working and brand new when they come out like i should have done a better before and after but they are like shiny right now coming out i'm gonna dry them off and then i'll show you my 2018 one really has <laughs> been through the ringer i feel like obviously that was my first one so i feel like i've really i wore that one i used to wear it every single day it's really gone through seen some life compared to the other ones the other ones have been on my hand for like literally the day of the ring ceremony and maybe one more day and that's about it but got these all clean like that stuff works like magic look how shiny they are now they did not look like that before instantly like literally six seconds in that solution here's my dilemma every single world's ring i have looks completely different like not two are the exact same thickness size anything so it drives me nuts when i try to wear it again it's a good problem to have i understand that but like it's just crazy to me that they change like designers after I think maybe 2019. So I think my, my first two should have looked the same, but look at the difference in thickness. Like very different. I don't know if it'll, you can tell. There we go. Like 2018 is so thick compared to 2019. Then 2020 didn't happen. 2021, I was given the male version. So look at the difference between 2019 and 2021. And then 2022, also just very different. So... It's fine. We'll make it work. I really want to wear them, and I don't know how. Why did I get them fitted for... I wish I would have just got them for all four fingers. Should have got a smaller one for my pinky, but... Whatever. Okay, 503. What else needs done? I don't think anything that I can do right now. Everything else that I need to do beforehand, like my eyebrows, which I didn't realize were this bad until I sat in front of the mirror... I can't do now or else I'll look crazy going to the gym. 
So I need to do my eyebrows. I need to take an everything shower, wash my hair, really shave my legs. But I want to do that tomorrow morning. And then pack up the team gifts and finalize all of that, which will be after practice. So I'm going to take you guys along with me to the gym today because I feel like it's going to be a really special practice and night. And we do like our senior gifts and everything tonight. And I think it's going to be real emotional. And I want to document the memories. So I'm going to bring you guys along with me. So I guess let's just get ready for the gym. Here is the gym fit for tonight. I know for a fact they're not wearing these tonight. I always have to be careful because one time I think I accidentally wore them when they wore them. And I blended in way too much. So I have like all my LJ clothes packed so I wanted to represent. But I didn't have anything else to wear. So we're just going to wear black and pink tonight instead of like an actual LJ shirt. So I cannot believe I'm about to leave for the last Thursday practice of the season. I literally blinked and we are done. And I cannot believe that already. Whoa! This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Watch out. This is coming to World's Day 1. Yes. You, better, you better hope and pray that you watch oh, it back. Oh, boo. We gotta go. I'd like to say.
saying that like I'm a senior, but I'm not. <laughs> it is 1120. Hold on. I got to give everyone a haul. I don't care about everybody else. It's 11.20, we just left the gym. It was a mess doing the senior awards. Everyone's, everyone is balling. Senior awards? Yeah, and everyone lost it. I got lots of gifts. First. Very cute. cute. What's that thing? What? That's so big. It's probably the exact same thing as this, it's from Amazon. Probably the same exact tank top I have on right now. Oh. Which is super comfy, so I love that. Honestly, this is probably what I'm gonna wear Monday. Look at how cute. These are. What is this? Like a Pajamas. nice shirt? Pajamas. That's so cute. With my name. Oh, so and cute. And the LJ rhinestone. Oh. So cute. And just wait. So cute. The matching bottoms. Oh, So the pajamas cute. that I already packed, I can take out because. These are cuter. These are way cuter. Okay, don't worry. That's not it. I got a sports bra. Mm -hmm. LJ, one shoulder. Still not done. Running Still shorts. Cute. These are cute. I need to find something to, actually I really like the waistband of these. Also might wear those. I don't know if that matches really that pink. We gotta figure that out. Cute stuff. And, and then I did. Oh, what is it? Where is it? Comes in a whole lot of pouches. Black on black. It's LV. <laughs> I, that is, that's everything. So it is 1130. I need to shower and eat. Mom's here. I'm going to finish this video in the morning when I finish packing, shower, wash this greasy mess, shave, do all of that. So good night. I'll see you in the morning. And good morning. It is the next day. I finally washed my hair, shaved my whole body. Everything is smooth, clean, and ready to go. And I just cannot believe that we are about to load up the car to go to Worlds. Does not feel real at all. Does not feel like Worlds whatsoever. Obviously, it's going to feel different this year because I'm not competing. But, like, even just time frame doesn't feel like Worlds. I don't know. It feels so different. But I think I, think I have everything. I ended up having to switch to a bigger suitcase. There was no way that everything was fitting after we got all the team gifts last night comfortably in the small suitcase. I need to pack this. I think that's it. We can get changed. And then we'll be good to go. I did end up finding, well, actually I didn't find. I had new cases come in. And this one's like a light pink, but it says better days are coming. So we ended up switching into this. But I just want to thank Caseify again for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check them out. Everything is linked down below. Don't think I have anything else to say. I have to start the world's video tonight anyway. So we'll end this video, start the next one. Stay tuned for that. Just hoping we have a good weekend. Because these kids deserve it. So make sure to give it a big like, comment down below, subscribe, turn your post notifications on. All that. And I'll see you in the next video.